In the context of the i3 market project, Telesto Technologies has developed the rating functionality in order to support the pilot activities and in particular the manufacturing pilot led by Siemens. Its success transformed this functionality into a whole new core component of the i3 market project. Its purpose is to allow data customers to provide their feedback related to the concluded transactions made through the i3 market, either by editing a rating from scratch or by updating a previous one. In this way, the rating component helps both future customers make more informed purchases and data providers build a good reputation by making the ratings visible to all authorized users of the i3 market. The rating component consists of three ways of interacting. One, the customer is obliged to rate each transaction by giving a star-based note to one or more questions provided. Two, the customer can optionally make a comment by filling in an open text box. It is an opportunity for the customer to clarify something that was not quite clear in the questions or to add any other information not included in the questions and judged important to note. Three, the provider can optionally answer to the customer's comments by filling in an open text box. It is the opportunity for them to answer to the customer's comments or to provide any other general ones. The note of the rating is given by aggregating the star-based notes given to the questions related to the transaction. The average of the notes is given to the transaction and the average of all ratings received by a single provider give an overall note to the provider. Now, let's have a look at its technical aspects. I'd like to start off with a quick run through the authentication flow of the i3 market OIDC client, which is not a part of the rating service flows, but it is strictly required in order to proceed with any of them. Starting off, the server variables of the IDC need to be set. The method should be HTTPS, the URL should be the same as the base URL of the page hosting the OIDC. In this case, identity 1.i3 market.eu and context can be left as is. Next, we need to call the slash auth endpoint with the following arguments. Scope should be open ID VC, VC colon user underscore role, in this case, VC colon consumer. Client underscore ID and redirect underscore URI are retrieved after registering the client service with the OIDC provider for the first time. After hitting execute, you can see that the OIDC returns an actual web page and not some sort of JSON. So in order to continue, copy the request URL generated and paste it to a new private session window on your browser of choice, preferably Firefox or Chrome. After pairing the wallet with the page and disclosing the verifiable credentials, you will be redirected to a SIM error page, but on the browser URL bar, a code is returned. This code is used on the slash token endpoint of the OIDC, which in turn provides the access underscore token and ID underscore token that are required by the rating service. Every request to the rating backend requires the ID underscore token header and only some of them the access underscore token header, but for simplicity's sake, you can include both into every request. Now moving on to the actual rating application, instead of presenting some rigid testing use case scenarios, which would probably be too restrictive for extended usage, I'd like to present the API as a functionality provider and focus on what is actually available as building blocks, so you can mix and match them to the specific needs of each and every pilot. Starting with get API slash ratings endpoint, it returns every rating object in the database, which is not very useful in a working scenario, but I found it extremely helpful for debugging reasons, as it essentially allows for a quick dump of the database without need for external software. The post API slash ratings endpoint is used to create a new rating object on a specified agreement and provider by a specific consumer, which actually must be the user logged in via JWT for security purposes. The rating also contains an array of four integers from one to five corresponding in order with the questions as presented in the front end and optionally a free text message from the poster. The get API slash rating slash ID is used to retrieve a single rating object by its ID, but it's also mostly in use 
since we developed a new endpoint for Unparallel that does the same thing with the agreement ID, which is more convenient for the web array, but if it's more convenient for you to use the internal IDs, then this endpoint is for you. The put API slash ratings slash ID is used to edit a pre-existing rating, always by the same consumer that posted originally. A small quirk of this endpoint is that it automatically deletes any previous response as it will be no longer applicable to the updated rating. The delete API slash ratings slash ID is not in use right now, but it will be used by administrators in the future. It deletes a whole rating object in case an administrator decides that the rating itself is unfair or malicious. The post API slash ratings slash respond is used to set the response field to a rating and can only be used by the provider the rating is aimed at. Finally, the slash API slash agreements slash agreement underscore ID slash is rated endpoint simply returns true or false based on the existence of a rating object for that agreement ID, making a very lightweight way to check if a rating needs to be displayed and the slash API slash agreements slash agreement underscore ID slash rating endpoint retrieves the rating by the agreement ID, which is the most convenient way to get a rating I mentioned above. Moving on to the endpoints related to the users of the rating component, they can be used by anyone and retrieve the rating and agreement objects for a single consumer or provider. It's worth mentioning that the slash agreements endpoints use the public key for the user, not the ID, as they need to interact with the smart contract manager. And last but not least, in fact, it may be the most important endpoint of the service, the get slash API slash providers slash DID slash total rating endpoint aggregates every rating for the particular provider and returns an object that contains the average rating for the provider as calculated and as rounded to the nearest 0.5 as to be displayed by a star component in the front end. The get slash API slash questions returns a singleton array of the questioner that is used as a basis for the rating, holding a single truth point across every user of the rating service across different deployments and marketplaces. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.